Theme song. 2.0. Welcome to the Shake Dimension. I just imagine Shu McGrath, but Wario, and he puts him in his ass, and then he like claps his cheeks around. The Shake Dimension. That was a lot to come in on. You didn't even tell me we were recording. I was like looking up like fucking LCD screens that I could use as marquees for an arcade build. And that's a, that's a fucking involved process. And then suddenly I'm being told about the Shake Dimension. Anime. This is already fairly fucking stunningly good production values. Wario doesn't normally get this, you know, Wario's usually just given like the leftovers. It's just, it's gonna come out of left field. They're gonna drop like a GTA quality like <laughs> yeah. Wa Waluigi game out of nowhere. No, it'll be with the, it'll be the FromSoft game that they've been working on. <laughs> what the fuck? This right. is insane! My army of furious testicles. Well, now you've gotten an issue with inflation. You know, you could just... I mean, look, you know, monetary theory, you know, modern monetary theory does all, you know, macro... I also kidnapped this small child! Alright, does he have a bag that when he shakes, hot chicks come out? <laughs> That's... Just to accidentally go in my closet. Aaron, there's women there's coming just, out of the bag! There's just hot chicks. As they my... all have, like, the brain of a five-year-old cat, but, like... Well, you won't. You're gonna go get Wario. Oh, you can fly, okay. There's just a lot, like... <laughs> there's a lot to process. Well, I'm still kind of, like... I'm glad they kept with cats and syrup. Yeah, I'm still sort of struggling with... The full tilt anime opening, you know? Of course he sleeps in his car. A fucking... I'm glad his, they didn't go voice acting. His storage locker. Oh, Syrup still likes me. You know how I kind of stole your castle and uh, terrorize you a bunch? Here's a present. <laughs> now I completely fucked you over, but you like attention. So getting this game and getting this game to run was a story, an experience. Um, because we bought this game. I found it in an EB Games and they made fun of me for buying it, which I'm kind yeah, of upset no, about. it was great because... When Aaron walked in, the two people at EB Games, Aaron is like, oh, hey, I'm here to pick up like this. And then they go, oh, it's the guy that bought Wario Land. Yeah. Because it's only like a 15-year-old Wii game. It probably didn't sell gangbusters at the time. Like, I don't even remember this. Look, I recall it coming into the store when I was working at the time. Very limited copies. In Australia... It did not sell well. I don't think it really sold well anywhere. I mean, they could have just like, you know, marketed it as like fucking. I just Mischief think that's Makers the thing is, I think they gave shit. them literally no marketing budget because it's Wario. It's Wario, who cares? It's yeah. not. You know, at the time, Wii games were selling themselves. They didn't have to spend any money on marketing. You know, yeah, I suppose. We fit hit, fucking literally people. We're laughing at pre-orders. Oh, I know how to pre-order and then walked in on release day. Can I get Wii Fit? No. We sold out. Like, so yeah, the Wii games are just flying off the selves, shelves. So if a title didn't sell, it just didn't sell. I'm actually interested to see how it sold elsewhere. Shut up, damn it! Quirk Dimension exists in a space next to ours and is powered entirely by particles known as twerkons. So it entered Japanese sales charts as the eighth best selling game of the release week at 25,000 copies. You always rely on the Japanese to buy Wii Nintendo. The game eventually bullshit. slipped several places on the chart, climbed back to 10th place. Japanese sales of the game reached approximately 114,263 units. Did anyone else buy it? Because uh, I don't care what the Japanese do really because they're As of December people. 2008, uh, it sold 150k copies in the US. Well, that's good. This figure shells short of the game's 350k sales, sales goal. Which the marketing team attributes to weak economy and lower video game servers at all. 
Yeah, they were. Sales at the time weren't huge. It's kind of small dip in period. I'm actually really sad this didn't sell because this is gorgeous. Um, they didn't play it at the time. Yeah, like, you know, look at it. Fucking. So this is playing on the Wii U. Yes. So those, I know it had been 16 by nine by the Wii, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. We had 16 by nine options. I you we know, had component cables for the Wii. Oh yeah, I know. It's just like. Yeah. Had to think Let's get about back it. I to know. around 2006, which is, you know, we're getting on. Mm -hmm. Time, Aaron. Just keep scooting on by me. It's fuck bullshit. Just spend all this time catching up on all the stuff that happened. And fuck, there's a lot of stuff. Fucking god. That's. That's fantastic. That is the second best crouching animation, just behind Shanta. Interesting. Fucking I'm doing things before wiggle. I should be. Fuck you, tutorial. Oh, that is amazing! He's not allowed to go down pipes. Shake him. Shake the fucker. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Look at his face after you've shaken him. He doesn't like this. It's like fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like Yoshi's Island. Dude, the animation of him going down the fucking... Pipe is amazing. And it's got oh, the Mario got, noise. Yeah. This has got the sound effect. That's fantastic. <laughs> just has to, it's just a fat cunt struggling through a pipe. Oh my god, look at that animation, man. That's, see, this is what I mean. I think a lot of Wario really works, you know, on the character. You know, Wario, maybe like, put it in your pocket, not shake it out everywhere, you numpy. I like the noise he makes. Is he going? Mine, 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 mine. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this game's gonna be the realization of like a lot of the ideas. Cool, Taren. Right? Oh, you gotta hit the fucking glowing blue thing. Ah. Uh, fucking. A brain. Brain. Take that. Oh, was just one there. Well, oh, six week old curry. <laughs> I love that they've kind of kept the zany treasures. I mean, oh, I've eaten that? like, you know, oh. I mean, maybe not six week, but some fairly old fucking Mexican. If you put enough spices oh. in Mexican, it'll live forever. Speaking of which, I had fucking Taco Bell. Yeah, uh, you had that today. How, how was that? That was some of the blandest shit I have ever eaten. It's weak, isn't it? Like, I feel like weak's not the right word exactly, because weak... Excellent. <laughs> weak... You know, like, someone can be weak but still exist physically. You know, this was... The flavor of this was almost a vapor. Like, it just... It doesn't taste like anything. It's just... U.S. The Taco... was the strongest flavor in that. U.S. Taco Bell is just... So much supremer in my... Well, Opinion. that's kind of what I was expecting, was this, you know, to be honest, fucking horrendous, but, you know, nonetheless tantalizing goo. All right. <laughs> this is great. This game is fucking fantastic. I mean, I feel like some of the Wii controls may grate a little bit, unless they're like... One of the fucking few games that really well fucking integrated them. But, I mean, just on look alone. You know, this is terrific. Oh, he's an angry little fat. Like, hey! You know, stuff like, see this, shit like this is why, yes! Ass first! Sickle compass. Like they programmed it in that you could slide in backwards. Like they did not have to do that. Shake the baby like you're a burping Gary parent. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see. 
And you gotta, you gotta watch the little guy, Aaron. You know, the little guy tells you what's what. I wonder, if you can, I wonder if you can keep doing that. I love that noise, dude. I want to do the long one. Long one what? I just want to do it all the way up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. This is like a little detail of him kind of tripping. Yeah. Warning, pedophile trying to abduct a child. They still got their weird exit mechanic. Yeah, but it's like not remotely as weird this time. No? Like last time it was fucking weird. You know, like a fucking frog monster would open its eyes and the world would shift into some horrifying goddamn kaleidoscope. Go back out and like jump into the fatty launcher again. I wish I had one of these in life. Boom, just throw me out running. <laughs> Off I go. So yeah, we bought this game. Um, and it's right on the Wii U. That's where you came in. Yeah, yeah, it was. Started, yeah. And um, on the way back to my house, we're driving and there's this three lane section where there's the very left lane is a straight lane. The other two, then right. I was in the middle lane and we didn't want to turn right. So I waited till traffic was gone. Nice and safe. There was someone coming up, but they were, you know, going reasonable speed. So I went into that left lane. Off we went. Think nothing about it. A few seconds later, cunt veers to the very right of us. And he nudges in towards yeah, the no, car and starts car. abusing us. Yeah. And we're just like, what? I'm like, excuse me? Like, I, I don't understand. He and looks then, a bit like if Bobby Hill got into meth, but then got off meth and started doing an apprenticeship. They keep the weird song room. Like, you gotta, like, these, like, for subhumans like this, winning traffic is the best they feel about themselves in the day. So, like, he nudges in, he starts abusing us, and I'm like, whatever, bro, like, I don't know what you're fucking mad about, because at the time, I didn't know. And it can't be the fact that, uh, like, I just went ahead of him, but no, apparently, it was. And Aaron, he was on track to win traffic. And then he tries to hit us. Literally swerves into the lane and tries to sideswipe us. And it's like, bro, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You're in a pee you plate. Don't take your license shit. away forever. Then you won't be able to do your fucking shitty apprenticeship. And you'll be fucked because you went into debt to buy your turd car. <laughs> He's mad if you try to buy it again. Oh, you can skip that. Thank God. Get a little old. I like that he squeezes out of the telescope. And shakes the fucking, his ass. The butt wiggle. Like, that's not necessary. You know, you don't see, like, fucking long jumpers or some shit just bend over and be like, yep. Uh-huh. I think we Ooh. should. They should start celebrating their spectacular jumps. I suppose it might make people watch long jump. They need to zest up some of these. Olympic I watched Long sports. Jump if Long Jump was also joust. You know, they had to jump towards each other with jousting sticks. Yeah. Well, no. Fuck like, yes. I think that I, I, I think this dream has a possibility of coming true. I feel like one day we might get like a combination of motocross and jousting. Like maybe not with full tilt wood sticks. But I, I can like, deal with that. Yeah, I, I feel like motocross people are a That's people a that you can amazing. You know, peer pressure into doing this. And I'm generally opposed to peer pressure unless it's getting people beneath me to do dangerous things for my amusement. Power geyser! You see, like, shitty little enemies that fucking, you know, don't really matter are made just a thousand... Like, why not shake him? He might have money on him. You gotta, like, mug every cunt, Aaron. That's, like, fucking, you know... I think they only give you garlic. <laughs> What does all the garlic do? Health. Does it add up? Yeah. Oh, it's health. Okay. Well, that is, you know, that's accurate. Like, garlic is terrific for health. Wait, I need three of you? Yeah. I eat it all the time. I mean, granted, sometimes I eat too much and I get, like, weird garlic farts. And they're, like, they're a world apart from what one might understand as normal. Oh, fuck yeah. Shake oh, it, no. shake. 
I throw that. Ah, oh, geyser. I don't like that the coins disappear considering they fucking go for miles. No? I think you gotta like go to an area like this, you know? Yeah, like. Ah, uh, yeah, see now, all right. You have to shake money for the ruling classes like this. What gotta do? Pick him up and shake him. Oh, I saw things up top. Yeah, you should go back. I will. That's why I shake these bags. Oh, look, a statue of John Lennon's head. The Olmecs worshipped his face as a representation of one of their phoenix gods. Dong Lomon. Look, game. Step Lennon Kettle. <laughs> Get back on the fucking... Next step a Huh, alright. Then you come back from the other side. Sure oh, enough. Enough. We're too early. We're too forward thinking, you well, see. That's, yeah, that's the problem is like, you know... Oh. Uh, too skilled a fucking mob of cunts at this shit. Like, you know, ask my brother, I like, fucking, you know, if, if there's something smaller than me, I can pick it up and shake it. No! What are you doing? There's a challenge to jump on three in a row. Oh, okay. Okay. Get un Do you have to ask Pound or something? Get uncombolated. There we go. Okay. Damn it. God, that's bullshit! It was like fucking in your space. Seems you can only bounce on him once. There we go. Hey! Shake the shit out of you. <laughs> fucking, like, look, okay, so this is a good example about how presentation can take something that, you know, a fairly dry mechanic, like. Like know, shaking. Like, yeah, but like, look at his little face. You know, like after shaking him, there's like a second where he sort of recovers. Then he just sits there with this like, Ugh, like he looks like you've actually shaken him. It's like how the fucking violence in Mortal Kombat is like shitloads of fun now. That it's like fucking real enough to give the people who designed it PTSD. I don't know why they didn't have that in the marketing material. Buy four copies. It's weird. What happened? Well, well, we made this Mortal Kombat. Well, it's so violent the people that made it. Uh, now mentally ill. <laughs> yeah, and because all of that's covered by the employer in America, they're now in Nether Realm's in-house asylum. Um, he screams as well. There's no escape. No, they just they put former employees in the Nether Realm in-house asylum, and then they record them. And the mad frightening shit that they jabber will become gibberish in the next Mortal Kombat game. Or the names of some characters, depending. <laughs> yeah, that's... I want to you know, get out there. It was recording the derange that is, you know... That's why we have Jabba Jabba Jabba. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> it cannot rain. This game could really use a stage set in a strip club. Like, it just makes sense, you know. Wario, like, again, Luigi would go to a strip club and just not understand that you're meant to look at boobs. Wario... Nah. Um, Wario's a man that goes to strip clubs. Absolutely does. Hey, Nico! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wonder. Wario has genitals. Probably just fucking headbutting around the back then. Eat. Like I do wish we could change that to Power Geezer. A Wario Geezer. That's a big fucking diamond. Power Geezer. 
See, like, I know you've got, like, a fucking Wii U and shit, but, like, you know, I could play this on an emulator and feel good and be like, oh, look at this, look at this thing I missed. Huh? This lovely piece of history. It's quite easy. All you gotta do is, um, tap the right stick to be shake, and then you just go up and down on the stick. I have a Wiimote. I could do that. I, I, I'm I just have, saying for those yeah, without a... Those at home. Oh, well, for, for those at home, um, if you uh, do... If, if, if you've ever sat around and thought to yourself, oh, you know, I'd like to play some old Wii games, but I don't have a Wii, or it's a hassle to get one, or plugging one into a modern TV is a bit of an ordeal, or something like that. Dude, most um, modern TVs hardly recognise their old resolutions anymore a lot of the time, because yeah. they're all self-displaying. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Um, just let me shake the child! Yeah, I recommend going yeah. to uh, maybe Play Asia or um, what's other place called Amazon um, and getting the uh, Mayflash uh, Wii Sensor Bar. It'll work quite well. Um, if your TV is over 50 inches, though, you'll probably need to go to um, oh, no. Arcade Guns. Fuck my life. You buttered noodle. I am a buttered noodle. Um, and get their Super Sensor Bar, which... Uh, we actually recorded a thing after we went, well, I thought we recorded a thing after we went to the, um, fucking market. Um, um, with me demonstrating the Super Sensor Bar, and, like, ArcadeGuns.com will say it's the best sensor bar, and it's like an amazing sensor bar, and you'll, and like, you'll sit there and go, how good can that be really? Like, that sounds like just marketing powder. Nah, for real, it's amazing. And it's like $40 or something like that. But it will also work. It not only does it work amazingly, amazingly, um, as your light gun sensor for something like, um, you know, any of the light gun solutions you're using, it will let your Wiimote work on a television larger than 55 inches. Because otherwise, uh, the sensor bar uh, lights are not far apart enough, not bright enough properly. Yeah. It'll, 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 it'll really fuck up if you try to get anywhere outside of like a sort of central area. Whoopsie desert! I wonder if there's secret exits in these and shit. Where the whoopsies live. I think it's possible. I'm not gonna say 100% either way, because it looks like everything's fairly mapped out, but I do believe that there could be... I mean, this this looks like a very well-assembled game at the moment, you know? Like, I feel like it's the kind of game, it'd be like, yeah, we'll go fucking get some extra shit in there. I wonder if, hmm. Interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> two buttocks. And took my coins. I don't They're like that they just go everywhere. Money. Like that's a bit. Huh? I don't like the mechanic of them dropping your coins everywhere. Shit. Oh, it's oh, gone. Man. Oh. Fuck it's oh, so good. No, they. They know how high Wario can jump, and they they, they, they hid the little meatball guy somewhere, see? So you... yeah. I love that. It is beautiful. Oh, hey, if you boost that thing up again, you could probably launch off of it and touch the bomb blocks. I just hope the guy will be the back. There we oh, go. There it is. Look at his little face. They're gripping him by the cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that's a hard. Mm. It's a hard knock. Calling life. this a cheat day because that was delicious. I'm not allowed to have cheat days anymore. Every day is a they cheat gotta, day. I gotta stop. I just love the dive to the ground. It's so good. Oh, this thing's great. It exudes loads of character. I really want another one of these now. Isn't there another one after this in some description? Is this the last one? There was one we missed, which is on the DS. All oh, right, yeah. Which is, I don't know. We'll get around to it. But I really wanted to play this because, like, it just the fucking monkey scream. And you throw them at the. I was gonna, there. and then I did. Just go and come back in. Yeah. Why don't uh, they... Ooh. No. They only did this for this game. No? Yeah. Like... Oh. Oh. Okay, you can just fucking... Yeah, no, these guys won't break those rocks, but you'll be able to angle the fucking... Yeah, I reckon? Yeah. Oh. 
still, though, I mean, you're obviously meant to turn the fucking... Yeah. Kind of. Please throw those guys into the... I mean, I know people have been launched out of cannons, but have any of them been really fat? Because... I should say. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up later. I need to make sure I'm on top of the oh. fat people being launched out of oh, cannons. Oh, is that? Secret map! Ooh. I think that's a secret level. Oh yeah, that might be it too. Noise is great. Music's great. Everything's great. Oh, this is, you know, you're a kid, you know, and ah. Oh. All right. Well, that's simplified that process a bit. Like, you dream about games that look like this. Uh, I know, like, especially these days here in the fucking sweet, dazzling fucking 2020. Like, you know, games like this that are fucking hand drawn and all that shit are fairly easy to fucking come by. Um, but like, you know, still. Uh oh. Uh, um. No, like, cause when I was a kid, you'd watch things like The Simpsons, and they'd have like the video boxing, and it was like these beautiful, hand-drawn, you know, it was just perfectly animated kind of fucking things. And these are like, ah, oh, you know, I'd love a game that looked like that, like. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Cheese, cheese pyramid. pyramid. Nah, I'm not allowed to eat any more cheese pyramids. No, uh, cheese is fucking, you need to cut down your just cheese munching, boy. It's, the problem is when I get hungry at like 11 o'clock. And then. So you just eat a bag of cheese? Well, not a bag of cheese. Like I'll just, you know, I'll just eat like a half a stick of pepperoni and like, not. Not an entire, th you know, I usually buy like a one kilo thing of cheese. I usually like, I bought a cheese slicer, like a cheese guillotine, specifically so I could have even slices on my sandwiches because the irregularity was driving me fucking nuts. I hate trying to enjoy a sandwich and you, there's like an adequate quantity of cheese. And then you buy it through and there's just this big fucking gob of it because you haven't got the knife through on a fucking- Yeah, I just can't eat it. cheese, so I just don't fucking think about it. Yeah, but like, you know, your body's a tragedy. I'm not by to, choice. Yeah, I'm not saying it's by choice. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm describing I'm just the situation. I'm not, uh, you know. Ah, it sucks. I'm not saying you, you you ticked a box somewhere that said, hello, I'd like everything to malfunction. I mean, I might have. Well then, yeah. You were Hitler in a past life. That explains everything. That's just... Yeah, this explains the back, and the, the head, and the teeth. Boing. Hmm. I feel like you should be able to jump in from the side. Normally I'd agree with you, Aaron, but the game is so good I'm just going to have to take it side for all of these things. I mean, look at this game. I think they get things wrong. These are not people that get things wrong, Aaron. Ah, yeah. oh, lordy. I want to go through that so badly. I Look, so do I. I want you to. You know what? I need to earn it. I think that we're both going to feel a lot better when you do. I just need to be know? tight butthole. Oh, you can hold it. Uh, uh, that changes things. See, the problem was us. We we're wrong to question him. Oh, you can't tilt, though. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. You're not allowed to fucking, you know. You can lock in. But no tilties. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Hey! There you go. Big diamond. You kind of went on the wrong angle on that tight butthole, but, uh... Yeah. You know. I was an angled butthole. You'll recover. Like... It's got to relax. Australian economy never will, though. Did you see that, though? Uh, which spit spit? Ah, oh, excellent! I am the pipe lord. See, we just need to show, you know, Australians this video and immediately consumer confidence will just be the roof. Everyone will be. All right. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's an interesting. Yeah! Alright, we have to beat the head. It was secret there. Never know. I don't know. I, I, I bet this is the way to the secret. 
Oh. No, stop. Oh, my God. Womp, womp, womp. That's a shame. But the rules are clear. The gameplay is tight. It like is. Aaron's Sapphire Passage. Oh, no, up. This. Look, I call using... bullshit. How do you get up there? Huh? <laughs> what do I look like? I'm Maybe I get a jump power I'm up at some point. Because there was blocks there. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, keeping the goddamn thing up. You know? All right, where's this secret map you can going? hear him going, Gene. Take a shot every time the professor's in a non-wheelchair accessible oh, yeah, area. Yeah, there we go. Secret stages. Ooh. Golden enemy. Oh, here we All go. Right. That's cool. Let's defeat the golden army. Golden army of the wah! <laughs> I'm Goanna Peen. Does he say Russian roll? Yeah. Sounds like it. Russian revolution. Can you slide down, bum first into those guys? I know you're not sliding. Yeah. Mustn't be a slidey slope. Ooh. Does that do anything to me? Nope. This is damage these. Ah, uh, yeah, take that. Ooh. You do like a heavy bum drop on him? I'm trying to do. Do you have a bum drop? Yeah, it does. All right. That guy just sucks. Do a, do a power fucking geyser. You forget we have power geysers. Ah! Ha 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 ha. That's fucking dumb, Gabriel. Of course it's the power geyser. It's always. The answer to most problems is the power geyser. And the answer to other problems is Buster Wolf. <laughs> I wonder what that scorpion's about. Is that the golden enemy? Maybe. I think dropping R's for... Oh, there we go. Cheeky. Ah, oh, that's weak. I mean, that is probably really fucked up, the little animal that lives in there. I don't think that was the golden enemy. Hey! Look, you're just gonna get power geyser. Where'd you come from? I think they live upstairs on the blocks. Are we supposed to be saving those fucking wooden crates or some shit? I right, take that. Fucking probably, eh? Yeah. Hey. Hey, fuck you. Fucking chicken. Nah, I'm oh, gonna... shit. Oh. <laughs> Should have that in fucking uh. Smash Bubbers. Oh. You're a cannon. What the fucking how geyser? Yeah. I agree. Oh. Aunt shoulder barge in waist deep sand. Ooh, all power geyser. It absorbs the geyser. Oh. Supposed to leave the boxes so you can just run over them. Yep. Well, I mean, you might be able to do it with just jumps. Where would you be running anyway? Eh? Back up here. Jump up there. It's a fucking... Mm. Oh. Get away from me. Aha. All right. Good. Go back. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> yep. Get him, get him. Mm. That just occurred to me I've never thrown an Australian animal at another Australian animal. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Just throw an animal at an animal? Yeah. Uh, I mean, fun. I don't have a lot of cores exactly to, and you need cores for something like that. Like, you can't just poke a possum into, like, fucking, you know, say hello. And then, you know, belt it. That's just me. Ah. Uh, you fat uh, He keeps like, he'll revive. I don't know if you can do that. What the fuck's it for? I feel like I'm being tormented by some kind of... I just feel like I should be able to roll down God. this. You get some to go over there. 
You know? I mean, odds on that's where we come back from. Was I supposed to shake to go down slides or something? Maybe it's not... No, because remember, if, if it's a slide that slides you, you slide down it. Yeah, true. You no, know, you're just, just walking on that. I like that there's no money that comes out of them, but it's just fun to shake the goddamn shit out of them. Anyway. It just comes back to life. Can't shake the money. What is the fucking... What is it for? Mysterious what do the numbers mean? Do numbers mean? Unless... They like... Change this direction or something. Well, like turn around and go back and yeah. go through the fucking. Yeah, this whole thing might have been like a red herring. It's clever. Very cunning. Nintendo. I love the extra bit of like fucking. Yeah! Like the extra bit of fucking detail of him. <laughs> that needs to be the new ending song. <laughs> well, I'm Goanna Peen. I'm still so perplexed how to get up the other area. That'll be where we come back from when we've fucking freed the child from its like pedo containment unit. True. Yeah, let's go. No. I haven't found this golden enemy. I wonder if he uses as he looks in the picture. Well, I mean, we've, you know, we've gone through like three screens of the stage. Like, we've hardly penetrated deep into this fucking, you know, mystery space. Just missed something. So I aimed the thing at there, mm -hmm. and it went up with the hole. Just went up. Didn't come down. I don't think it needs to come down. Oh, there he is. Hey. Mm. Stop touching its pointies. All right, look, he's down there now. So no, he has to die. You, you, you don't fit. Look at that. We don't have anything. We're gonna get the, the big gem. I, I will mean, stop fucking with this because I would like to see another stage sometime. You know, dude, he had to die before the extinction of my life force. The pride thing. I don't want to be watching this fucking video as a force ghost, Aaron. Who will be? You can and hang besides, out with Hayden Christensen. I've always considered myself more of a consent ghost. <laughs> Now stop on a dime. Didn't stop on a dime. I get it. You win, spiky fuck. Alright, you cannons need to die. Actually, I actually want to shake you. See ya. That's a slidey. Yep, there we go. Look at that. It's just automatic, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I oh, look, down. stairs. Go up left, because there's a um, big fucking chong coin up there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fuck yeah. Tootin ramen. Oh, <laughs> God fucking damn it. Huh. I don't think we're going to get that there. I think you just gotta like jump up or do like one of the Rammy bounces. <laughs> I, I'm gonna look it up now. I gotta see if there's like fat people shot from cannon. Because I think a regular human being that can do like a flip getting shot out of a cannon is just fundamentally less interesting. And I think if you plugged a fat guy in there, that'd be great. Fat guy. Not from Lost. Shot from... <laughs> Is that really the first thing that comes uh, up? No. Yeah, and like... 
There is no way that's a search result tailored to me because I don't give four fifths of a fuck about lost. Look, you fucking bird. Yeah. Right in the goddamn face. Like, I reckon, because you'd have a good reason to throw something at a magpie. Ah. Huh? Oh. Doesn't matter. Yes! YouTube, fat guy shot out of a cannon. Okay, big money. He's pretty fat. I mean, this video is like been recorded on a Nokia fucking you no know, 1998. So no one around professionally he could do this. There's like two seconds left of this video. This fat guy better. Oh, that sucked. That fucking that was. Oh, and an ABC News article. Human cannonball Warren Brophy is a circus performer keeping his family dream alive. I don't think anything about what you do is a family dream. <laughs> Might be just someone. Maybe his son wants to be a really fat cannonball. Mr. Brophy is one of a small group of people in the world, he estimates there are only a dozen left, who are human cannonballs. The only Australian human cannonball. Twenty-eight-year-old who also has a young son, Santiago, as the circus in his blood. Of fucking course he does. It's like farming in Australia, it's the only way you do that fucking job. You know. No one at fucking Serena Rosso is gonna be like, oh yeah, here you go, here's an application to be like a fucking clown. <laughs> Although, once all that shit kicks back off, I bet they'll be like, that's where they'll be at. Desperate to prove they're useful in a situation they can't possibly be useful in, so they're just gonna be like, yeah, we got him a job. He like, you know, screams things at people in a haunted house, but it's, you know, it counts. Ah, okay. <laughs> Maybe... You're gonna hit the edge. You gotta go up to the right and then... Left. Oh, you gotta cheat. You gotta think you can outwit the game. I want... No, I'm thinking like treasures and shit. You never know. Shit. They're pretty generous with the whole entry. You know? One of those ladies on the internet that has the, uses the speculum. The it's a what? bit much. It is a medical device designed to uh, open an orifice to allow doctors to see inside. Interesting. And uh, what does that do? They just. It's for people, the weird, weird, weird people who want to jack off. Jesus Christ. It's because I know I'm not moving the thing. But it's want still to jack doing off it. to like a cervix. Like yeah, I just want it to uh, go exactly from where it is, and I just got to not move it at all. It's a weird folk. Oh my god! I swear to Christ, tilt controls. <laughs> oh yeah, it really is only the tilt and the shake, isn't it? Ugh, yeah. Still. That oh, oh, noise is great. Shit. Who would you want to see this? Who wants, like, who's so interested in vaginas that, like, interested in seeing, like, you know? It's like KFC just having pictures of fucking factory hen farming, like, up on the walls. It's like, I don't need. What am I doing with that information? No. You must know. There's knowledge I mean, in is general, power. sure, but like, you know. Useful to know weird things the dick does. I'm not about to fucking take a woman through a crash course before she touches it. I'm all about that dick tutoring. Hey, wanna see some of the other things that come out of it? Big bum. 
Mine just first is gummy bears. Oh my god, that reminds me of that goofy this woman like crapping this giant log with like gummy worms that she had stuffed up her butt. I and know the, that video well. Yeah. And the look on her face is fucking excellent. It's fucking amazing. Because it's the same face <gasps> the animals had when in like fucking um in the Flintstones, when they'd look at the camera and go, eh, it's a living. Yeah. All right, this will be how you get over to that bit we couldn't get over to. Yeah, see, so it's all about the bomb running. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 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 Like, it's challenging, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta no, get I on I mean, there. like, instead of, like, I didn't have to turn around, I, it would have gone up further a bit. I had a, like, more safe space to turn around. A lot of these things you've got to see, I think, first time. Yeah. Before running again, anyway. But, like, in Mischief Makers, you know, you need... You gotta play that game a shit ton if you want gold medals and stuff. Replay value! You got like 17 seconds left. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's what we're gonna be Oh seeing. shit, no, 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 no. Yeah, seven, six, five, uh, four, you can't. three, two. Aaron is a dumbass. <laughs> I spent so long in the cannon section. Okay, what up. the fuck? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah get fucked. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> he just comes and is like, no. Guy looks kind of like one of those bizarro Santas weird little European cultures have. Hey, oh, yeah, checkpoints. Oh, fuck yeah. Thank God for that. Ah, oh, my ass is powerful. All right, now let's not spend four fucking minutes. Controller, tilt and tumble. I kind of want to see that like Australian human cannonball guy, cause like I feel. No, like you could probably, if you if, if if you if you got the physics worked out, like if you got a maths guy in, and sorted out like you know how much. Oh, oh, oh. I got mm -hmm. greedy, man. Uh, Aaron it. I just got greedy. I was like, I can get this rotation. <laughs> in fact, I could not. Oh, yeah, I do that all the time. I get impatient as shit. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Have a girl. At least this time you'll be able to do like a better job with the sprinty bit. <laughs> like, it's, again, it's a testament to the quality and the character of the animation and the art style that it's just fun watching him get launched into the corner of a fucking wall, like. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We can do it. Is up's the way to go or is down the way to go, you know? It's just... Hey, look at that. Look at that! I wanted look at it. that! I don't know how you're supposed to get that. Well, Maybe slide to, jump? You have, to, you have to choose. So you gotta slide down first. No, you can't you can't have both. It's upsies or downsies, Aaron. It's low road or high road, you know? You gotta it's all depends on like when you wanna get to Scotland. Ah. Uh, this way's still good, I guess. Excellent. Oh, rhubarb. Oh, 
There we go. Uh, puzzle solved. We are no longer in the realms of mystery, Aaron. No. Mm. Scully can mark that as case closed. I wonder where the gold enemy was. It's probably in that area to slide into. Yeah. Didn't accomplish any of the bonus tasks. Barely accomplished the task. I got one treasure. Boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Oh, that's great. It still finishes the level. That's good. That was what I hated about the old games whenever you got a secret path. You'd have to go back and do the fucking level again, usually. Do the normal exit. Yeah, well, this time it's just a map. It's not going out a specific hole. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah. And you find I, the map. Yeah. So you just map, know, you know the way to go. Yeah. Which I, I, I find actually a nice amount of um, internal cohesion to the idea. You know? But yeah, you, if you go out one way, you've gone that way. If you get a map, you can just you can just decide. Choices. Oh fuck yeah. Dinosaurs and shit. That's a lolly. Oh, task failed. Did <laughs> not get wet? Yeah. Oh god. Aaron. I have to have That's amazing. Long talk with your mum about why you're like this. I know, like it's it's dumb, but it just bothers me seeing money just go everywhere and not get picked up. It's just up. hard to get. Yeah, fuck you, money. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be a slave to the almighty dollar anymore. I'm going to go live on Luigi's weird commune and his common law wife that he lets other people have sex with. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi loves to watch other people fuck his wife. Like, you know that's true. That's why, like, Daisy's a whore, bro. Luigi likes it. I'm, I'm says, sad he doesn't have fatty princess, swimming. Come dump. Like, I miss fatty swimming. It was funny. Yeah, she's one of those ladies that used to speculate. And then just has like fucking 18 dudes just beat off into her like a bucket. Oh, that takes me back to the days of Space Dick's surprise. Wii U found a way to make that browser very fun. The, yeah, the Wii U was actually the best for it. Cause the Wii U had this browser on it and the fucking thing would let you put like a fucking theater curtain over the page and then push a button and there'd be a drum roll and it would reveal what you'd fucking got. And when you've looked up just the most foul things on the internet, like, it's like the dude that like would fill condoms full of shit. Like I got so many people with that. That was funny. <sighs> like it's one of those things and you see kids and it's just, you know, at some point the shit dildo dude was a kid and he probably wasn't into shit dildos then. He was probably just some kid. So you look at kids today and you're like, all right, which one of you is gonna video of them stuffing maggots down the eye of their dick on the uh, no. One of them's gonna. I know, just... but I don't... Uh. It's, it's pieces, you know? It's like almost fucking... Sl I bet you can run all across water when you fucking... Yeah. Run. All fat people can do this. You should try. Yeah, look at that. Look at that! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! <gasps> Lights out, Gorilla Wario. Oh yeah. Need yeah. to throw some of these cunts into the spikes. I want you to fatality them. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill you. Ah. The music's all good, but it all really sounds like, you know, kind of the incidental music from a third or eight fucking early 90s sitcom. <laughs> you know, like you can just see the credits rolling. Yeah. And like, you know, two people who shouldn't live together, but they live together looking at each other like, ah, oh, you. Fuck yeah. Kind of sounds like, um, Remember Sonic 2, 
the level that was lots of like lifts and stuff up high? Um, I don't know, barely. If the I played the, if I played I the song, from Sonic Two is the cave song because the cave fucking song fucking rules. I'll play it later for you, and you'll you'll, oh, you'll yeah, hear no, the similarity. I know it's in there somewhere. It's just I gotta you know, the lots memory. of fucking shits in there somewhere, man. Like, yeah. It's like when people say, "Hey, you know, do you know fucking you know Gorgax?" And it's like, all right, I have to filter through like you know dozen different fucking fandoms. Like, okay, and I gotta like, all right, is it sci-fi? Is it fantasy? You know. Is it one of those fucking ones that's kind of a bit of both? Like, are we warhammering this? Shit. You boob scotch. Yeah, this music, man. I feel like I'm in a fucking elevator at the mall. But like, in a way that it'd make you go, that's pretty good elevator music. Bottoms. Yeah, like, this is the elevator music with a little bit of funk to it, a little bit of soul. Yeah? Yeah, ah, whoa! Fucking look at that. Aaron reaction time Costello. I like that the fat guy launcher has a siren when it's about to launch fat guys. You need to know when they're always. coming. Yeah. Because the fat guy launchers in Brisbane don't. And I personally think that's dangerous for pedestrians. Ah. <laughs> uh. I see. It's a one-way kind of deal. I haven't been on a rope swing in ages. I haven't been to a creek in ages. Creek swimming's a big part of a lot of fucking Australian lives. If you live not out in the desert with the cattle. Ah. Ah. Go out and come Maybe there's again. another cannon in here though. That's a possibility. Oh, bottoms. Careful, Aaron. He gets poke, poke, and bot, bot. <laughs> I love the little puffy dude. It's the cheeks. Fat cheeks, always funny. It's like that picture of Batman where he's just got the big eyes and the funny little fucking, you know, pudgy cheeks with the tongue sticking out. Fucking kills me every time. Oh, I guess no going back that way. <laughs> well, ruined everything. Look at me like that, you fucking red blocks. Just blocks. <laughs> How'd you do that? I was just his down jump. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Body splash. Alright. Please get me down. The other goblins flick me up here. Not funny. No one Damn knows. it, I... Uh, I know it's for replayability, but I'm kind of over... Spots that are like locking me off and go from going back. Yeah, I know, yeah, man. It's just frustrating because I'm like, I wanted to, I wouldn't have gone this way if I known. I want everything. I want all the I things. I want to finish the stage. Yeah. You know, like, that's the fucking. It's like going, getting the shopping. It's like, I don't want to fucking go back to the goddamn car. Hmm. I will put on. A backpack that has been loaded down with like 10 kilos worth of shit. I will trudge home. Like a furious T800. Ah. Uh, womp womp. See, this is like if Peanuts did the underground theme from Mario Brothers. Oh, damn it. You can, you can see the I whole can dancing. hear it and see it. What was the piano? Was it was Linus the piano kid? Um, is he the one who had the blanket? Yeah, that's it. Well, I, you know, Linus wasn't him, but I can't remember. 
It'll be something dumb like key face or some shit. Like, uh... Froda. Froda. Uh, the fuck? Oh, I don't want a fatty running on the water. There you go. After Linus, Schroeder is Charlie Brown's closest fuck. friend. He once angrily berated Violet for giving Charlie Brown a used Valentine. Well after Valentine's Day had come and gone. Only to be undercut when Charlie Brown eagerly accepted it. That... None of that is not fucking horribly depressing. Hey, Char the whole of Charlie Brown is really very fucking depressing. How do I stop? Don't, just go. There's a treasure there. See? I just smashed through the top. Oh. Well, I don't know how to stop doing Can you this. Do a bum drop while you're doing the. There you go. Can't do it. I, that's what I tried to do, and I. That's when I fell. Fish bit my bottom. Now my bottom's big. So you Frodo need to. Also joined Linus and chastising. Used to remove the girls and Snoopy from the space ball team just to get new uniforms. He's also one of the few players who has any respect for Charlie Brown as a manager, though he is as capable of ire at Charlie Brown's poor performance as anyone else. In one game, when Frida asked Schroeder, "Would you? Wouldn't you like? Wouldn't you like just Schroeder. once to see Charlie Brown hit that ball?" Schroeder's calm reply was, "No, I am not prepared to have the world come to an end." <laughs> the fuck. I don't think Schultz was a was okay. No. Oh, he's German. That explains a lot. Yeah, oh, the German cartoon. Oh, it's 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 in a lot of ways penetratingly tragic. Thanks, Germany. Everything you do is just just awful. Ooh. Ooh. Bum drop it? Oh. Mm. I'll throw a little guy into it, maybe. Tilt on. Tilt the. Oh, there we go. Now you gotta tilt. There we go. Take it. Alright, nope. Uh, I think I can just jump. Oh, all right. Interesting. Weird. I expect to see something like this on fucking, um... Uh, holy moly. Uh, dude, have you seen any of season two of that? Oh, yeah. It is as good, if not a little bit better. They have new fucking courses and shit. Some of them are insane. Oh, and they... You know how people couldn't get through the windmill? Yeah. And the windmill went really fast. It actually yeah. had a lot of fucking oomph to it, so it would just cleave people off that fucking thing. Yeah. They added a fifth blade to the windmills. Holy shit! Like, basically, nobody could get through. Some girl, like, got a half-decent putt, but was so terrified, she just jumped into the water. She was just too scared to I'm get cleaved her. by the windmill. That thing I was crazy. I mean, to crazy. be fair, she did watch a lady get fucking cleaved by the windmill. There's also this new thing where they have to fucking like go on a rope swing and then grab onto a log and all that. <laughs> it's like a vertical log, right? Yeah. So, and it, you know, it's covered in like fucking squish, but still the end result, yeah. the end result of it is always someone flying almost lucha style dick first at the log and hitting it with their fucking taint. You know, they just fucking flung ball first into this fucking thing sometimes. And even if you don't have balls, like, having your fucking flaps get fucking slammed like that must be unpleasant. Like, I can't imagine it being nice. Nah. No. I mean, I know there are women that like that kind of roughness, but still, like, you know, not just as a surprise. See, that's exactly the situation where you want to be shaking a big bag of money. Like, just there where you can fucking... 
It really is a peanutsy quality to all the music now that I'm fucking. Man, now there's yellow blocks. Oh, Shenanigans God. around here. Guns are supposed to be shenanigans. Uh huh. Yeah. Even then, like there's the da 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 da. This, you know, again, it all sounds like fucking sitcom music. You know, gonna make it in the city. Yeah. Is this one of those situations, like when the Japanese composer just like fucking steals all the music? Really, in a lot of ways, don't fucking like he still stole. But, like I understand, you know. Like imagine in like 1985 for like some shitty Australian kids show that like barely any Australians are gonna see. You decide to copy some what's to you obscure Japanese music that no one's ever gonna hear. And then 20 years later, the internet's full of autistics that love both things and compare them constantly. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, hey! You're like, ah, I've been found out. What are the fucking odds? Why are you still doing this? I guess they just get into a habit and never stop. Oh, yeah, no, I just mean, like, of all the things, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, no one will ever notice this. No, no one's going to give a shit. Like, who cares if I fucking nick the riff from this fucking song? It's a good riff. Yeah, no one's going to... Surely, in 30 years' time, there won't be, like, this big system that allows people to completely directly compare these things and tell lots and lots of other people and, you know, even translate it into other languages so everyone can find out what I did. That is the correct way. Ass. Ass to ass. If that's correct, though, what's over here? Ah, oh, nothing. I thought that yeah. was a pathway. I know, I, 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 I thought so too. I like when you watch kids, like, walk into those fake painted walls to make it look like, <laughs> like it's really alleys and shit. I always enjoy that. Remember being at the fucking... I've never, seen, I've never seen a kid walk into a fucking picture thinking it was real, but... I remember being at the fucking Albany Creek uh, Video Easy. And, like, my brother and I getting into a fight. And me going to, like, fucking... And go after him. And him pivoting and... You know, it wasn't a sprint. Because he only got, like, basically two steps. But those two uh -huh. steps were, like, fucking... The power... Lunge <laughs> do to start a fucking sprint. So he's doing that, and in the meantime, the automatic doors have closed, and he just goes Badoosh! and like the sound echoed through the fucking store. What's that? Uh, it's just a 50 kilo child just running headfirst into the goddamn. Uh -huh. Fortunately, like that plexiglass shit you can't break. Like it's very steady. Oh yeah, like you can. Chuck bricks at it and it won't fucking go. A bobbling. Oh. <laughs> Just not fine enough on the guilty. Can do it, Aaron. Tilt that fucking stick. Uh, okay, I look like a mong with this holding this Wii mode. That's the way. I mean, I sort of understand why that happened because if you've ever seen people who don't play video games play video games, they move the fucking hat around like a goddamn mong. It's just Normal people who learn to separate their thumbs from, you know, the rest of their body. 
don't look like they're trying to invent their own semaphore. Yeah. It's the secret hole or the regular hole? Secret hole. They need a big sign saying secret hole in most games, I think. Like, that'll just, you know. Alright. Little fucking pirate goblins. What time is it? Warrior time. Mori Povich time. Oreo. Why not the father? Fuck, I've watched so much more. That was one of those other shows that was on back when I smoked weed. But like, it is, I mean, it was grotesque, but like, you know, good viewing. My favorite thing was always the uh, guess the shemale episodes because Inevitably, there would be one black guy, it was always a black guy, who was dead fucking certain that the obvious transgender lady was not transgender. <laughs> and he'd sit there and he'd be like, oh, I'll tell you more, that's a woman, I'll tell you, I know a woman. I'll, you know, he'd be talking about, like, you know, wanting to take her out and shit. And then, you know, obviously born a man. And then just watching his friend sleep up and go, ah, oh, you fucking homo. You can just watch that fucking same thing happen over and over and over and over again. Oh. I like call those guys forkheads. It was that and yeah, not the father. The not the fathers were usually funny too. Just cause like, it's not the thing specifically. It's the person being 100% absolutely sure about something and you knowing that they're, they're, they're not 100% absolutely sure about something. Can I get them with throws? Yeah. Right. Oh. yeah, take that. Finally, a runny dealy. They're one of the most fun parts of these escapes. Well, uh, that's unfair. Uh, uh. Need to vary the quantity of marijuana you have before these records. Oh, it's not that. Was... Not that at all. I just this game is very easy to fuck up. It's like one touch and you're done. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying that like you've got like this. You have a point where you're a certain degree of high and you get better at games. Like we've tested this. Like you were able to use Shumagorath in ways that Sober You was not able to use Shumagorath. Look, that was Shuma coming through me, all right? I was uh, his host. <laughs> no host for Shumagorath. Also, like, I've never been able to replicate that. I could see time. I just saw the bullets. That was when you told me you could hear my teeth. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you're stone stoned. Yeah, that was fucking gone. Again, though, because, like, you know, at that point, like, you got much better at, like, Marvel vs. Capcom, like, after that, but around that point, we were a little more equal. Yeah. Game you never stupid. used fucking Shumagorath. I know. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Alright. We're gonna enter Evil Santa's tummy and fight his kidney stones. Why oh, we haven't even seen the bosses. I wonder if they're gonna be fucked up like they were on the other one. I kinda hope they are, just because I feel like this art style is gonna be oh fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, that guy's fucking up a body. Peaks on top of peaks! Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. I mean, general rule, buddy, don't try to hit things with your own head. My. I jumped. <laughs> oh, they have such a good little bespoke animation for when Wario gets launched. Ooh. Alright. 
Oh, his daddy's put his angry face on. What the fuck? I think I've seen those on Bad Dragon. Yeah, that's uh. Huh. Fuck yeah, twosies. Oh, oh shit. Transforming Aaron. Oh fuck. Dude. See phases within phases. Wow. Alright, he's got like what appears to be a little head nubbin. Not sure how to get to it. Maybe you gotta like a jump on the geyser, like it. Well, he's gonna. Oh, wow. Well, that's nice. I didn't know we were gonna be able to go over it. Oh. Woo. It's weird watching something's face shoot little live hurty boys at you. I mean, thank you for giving me a lift, mate. Every time. Very sure. Eat shit. Was that? Big treasure. Hey, look at that. Got upper body Gary's brass knuckles. They're for some kind of monster, but you can still wear them if you hurt your thumb. I'm so upset. That this game's not, not dazzling. This game it's razzling. He is. Like, look at him squeeze out of this. Like, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's the sad thing. It's like, this would have fucked. I mean, hell, this, you know, this is good now. This would have been hectic back in like 2006 or seven, you know? I don't think I, yeah, I didn't even have a gaming PC then. No, you didn't. My brother's leftover one in like 2000 ish. 2011, 2000, no, it would have been 2011. I oh, know 2012, because I moved back into fucking. Mm -hmm. Much for a wristy. As you can see, I am terribly rich. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do it when she just try to do it again. She gets upset. Turned on by both those noises. It's <laughs> returned to shake. So that you gotta buy. So coins let you progress. They let you buy the new area maps. Oh, like so queen not go to new stages without buying the yeah. map. I guess kind of wait to collecting treasure. That is important. Good. I feel like some of the, um, wiggly worlds. Wiggity, wiggity. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I like you know, the layout of this game. This is, this is really, really solid fucking title. Like, part of me, I, I'm seeing, like, you know, you see the little area, and it's like, you haven't got all the treasures or stars. It's like, well, I want all the treasures are some stars now. Yeah. I'll show you. Go back to this shit. How are we out here? You done? Done this episode. Okay. I love this game. I do I'm not sure. regret paying twenty four dollars for this, this game in yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, this was worth the twenty four dollars. Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. Expand it somehow. I'll have you know.